हेलो एवरीवन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर राकेश गोदारा वर्किंग एज सीनियर कंसल्टेंट इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पलमोनरी एंड क्रिटिकल केयर मेडिसिन इंटरवेंशनल पलमोलॉजी एट सी के बिरला हॉस्पिटल आर बी एच जयपुर राजस्थान इफ वी सी देर इज अ बिग चेंज द रेस्पिरेटरी मेडिसिन हैज विटनेस्ड इन द लास्ट डिकेड इज द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ई बस दैट इज द एंडो ब्रोंकेल अल्ट्रासाउंड दिस इज अ स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ द फ्लेक्सीबल ब्रोंकोस्कोप विद द अल्ट्रासाउंड प्रोब एट इट द टिप ऑफ द स्कोप and this opens the whole new world of diagnostic possibility endoscopically which were earlier not possible at all so we will try to understand that what is the ebus bronchoscope this is one of the latest tool addition in the field of interventional pulmonology ebus is mainly a diagnostic modality it helps to take samples from the lymph node and the mass lesions which are not accessible with the conventional bronchoscope there are two type of the ebus bronchoscope one is the convex probe ebus bronchoscope that is used to take the samples from the mediastinal lymph nodes and the para hilar lesions whereas the radial probe ebus is used to take the samples from the peripheral pulmonary nodules or the lesions what kind of the pulmonary pathology we can diagnose with the ebus bronchoscope as we know that tuberculosis is one of the most common infective disease that affect the lungs in our country so the tuberculosis and other infective lesions fungal infections sarcoidosis lymphoma lung malignancies and the metastasis from other malignancies can be presented with mediastinal lymphadenopathy as we encounter in our day to day practices that history physical examination along with the basic lab that include the chest x-ray and sometimes an advanced ct scan that also will not provide definitive diagnosis in majority of the cases in this situation tissue sampling from these abnormal lymph node become necessary to make a definitive diagnosis in these situations ebus bronchoscope is very helpful to take samples from these abnormally enlarged lymph node or the mass lesion how the ebus is useful in the malignancy Ebus bronchoscopy is very useful in making diagnosis and also staging of the lung cancer effectively. In follow up cases of malignancies, Ebus is useful in taking sample from PET CT abnormal lymph nodes. Even enough tissues can be taken for further molecular analysis and in this way it can avoid the need of surgical mediastinoscopy in most of the cases. How do we do Ebus bronchoscopy? Ebus bronchoscopy is done at the bronchoscopy suite it can be done in the conscious sedation or the under general anesthesia that depend upon the patient's profile and the comorbidity and need for the procedure patient has to be fast overnight for the next day morning procedure generally doctor go through a checklist before a procedure a ct chest or the pet scan is a prerequisite before the procedure the contrast ct is more preferable ct chest helps to note down the abnormal lymph nodes their size location character and any abnormal lesion before starting the procedure in this procedure ebus scope are inserted into the tracheobronchial tree then with ultrasound probe we can see and measure the lymph nodes and the mass lesion outside the airway that is the transbronchial in the mediastinum it can reach up to the distal hilar lymph nodes which are not even accessible with mediastinoscopy once a lymph node is identified then the transbronchial needle aspiration that is the tbna samples can be taken from the lymph nodes under ultrasound guidance that is in real time generally it is a day care procedure and the patient can be discharged on the same day after a few hour of observation sometime post procedure patient might have slight cough and a fever that can subsided with the antipyretic what is the diagnostic yield of ebus bronchoscopy we try to take samples multiple times from the various lymph node at a given time this increases the yield of the diagnosis much better than the conventional bronchoscopy in the majority of the cases it can avoid the need of video mediastinoscopy which is a surgical procedure it is a very safe procedure 
where sampling is done in the real time so we can avoid hitting the blood vessel accidentally along with the lymph node or the mass lesion. I am sure that this piece of information will be very much helpful to you all to understand the need for the EBUS bronchoscopy in various respiratory diseases. Nowadays in the era of precision medicine, tissue is the issue and the EBUS bronchoscope solve this issue up to a large extent. EBUS bronchoscope and the radial EBUS is available in the Department of Pulmonary and Critical Care Medicine Interventional Pulmonology at CK Bidla Hospital, RBH, Jaipur, Rajasthan. For more information, you can contact at the given details. Thank you very much.